Welcome to my workflow walkthrough. Uh, this is using an iPad to edit JPEG pictures, including captioning them. Uh, the apps we're going to be using today are FSN Pro, Lightroom CC, we're going to use the Notes app, and we're going to use the Files um, system within iOS 11. So here we go. Let's go into FSN Pro. Here we have uh, the uh, project window, the photo library and project window. There are 12 pictures already in a folder from a job I happen to have all the original JPEGs from, from the summer. Here they are. Uh, what I need to do first is to add a batch caption. So I'm going to hit batch, select all. Uh, then I'm going to go to IPTC. Um, and what I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I've uh, pre-written the caption and left it in the Apple Notes app. So I'm going to go quickly to Notes. There we go. I've already highlighted it. So let's, let's just do that again. Uh, okay, here we go, select all and copy. We're going to then go back to FSN Pro, go to the caption window. I'm going to paste that in. That's all in, that's fine. I'm just going to put the lady's name here in the uh, title. problem sometimes with auto replace um, doing things you don't want it to do with names but that's good we're there that's excellent so I've now added that caption to all of those pictures the next thing I need to do is export those captioned files into uh, an Apple files um, folder so I'm going to go to the sharing and exporting icon uh, just check that I'm exporting the selected edit yep happy to do that export the files and it's going to ask me now where to export them to, I hope. Here we go. So save to files. And that's going into photos out. Add that. OK, so now I need to come out of uh, FSN Pro and appear in Lightroom CC. So I've already created a folder for the pictures to go into. Uh, so I'm going to click on that. There's nothing there at the moment. So I need to add some photos. Go to Add Photos and from Files. So uh, Photos out. There it is. Um, those are the pictures. Select, select all, open. Those pictures are going to appear in Lightroom CC any second now. Here we go. 12 photos successfully imported. I need to just now go through those and tone them um, and maybe do a little bit of a crop. I mean, I shot them fairly tight anyway, so I doubt I'll need to do much cropping, but let's have a look. So this is the first picture. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I just want to just, just take those highlights down a fraction uh, and lift the shadows out a tiny bit. And that's pretty much all I want to do to that picture. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to save that adjustment uh, in case I need to do it to any others. So go, copy settings, and when I copy settings, I copy everything apart from a crop. So I'm going to hit OK there. Go to the next picture, and let's just see if the same settings will do just as good a job. So paste settings. Yep, just take the highlights down a bit. Just open the shadows up a little bit. That's all I needed to do on that picture. That's good. Um, detail. Now these pictures have been sharpened in camera because they're JPEG, so they're probably not going need, to need a lot of sharpening. I might just take it up a jot on that one. Okay, that's good. And so I'm going to copy those settings again just in case I need to do that, the sharpen to any others. Go to the next one. It's much the same, it's lit, so it'll be exactly the same. Paste the settings, just taking those highlights down a bit, that's perfect. And then I'm going to go through all of the pictures, do the same, paste the settings, watch the magic happen. Yep, happy with that one. Paste the settings onto that one. That's worked. Okay. Paste the settings here. Yep, happy with that. And again, paste the settings into this one. Right, so that's it for the ones shot on the stage. So now there's uh, the ones shot backstage. Now here I've got a little little twiddle I need to do I think with again with the the highlights not much just a little bit of a down on the highlights and maybe just open up the shadows fractionally and take the blacks down a tiny bit as well the colors are fine the detail yeah I'm going to sharpen these ones a little bit more so let's call that 31 I'm going to save the new 
copy the new settings. And then I'm just going to go to the other pictures and paste the settings. Now this one I do want to do a small amount of work on the crop. So I'm going to go to the crop tool and I'm just going to make sure everything's straight. I need to take a little bit out of the top and left. That's better. Okay, I'm happy with that. Excellent. Go to the next one, paste the settings in again. Just a fractional change there, no, nothing much in it. But it's good to have this option. And of course, if you do need to do a lot, or if you are working with raw files, you can you can really really you know do everything you need to do in Lightroom CC on a mobile device. Okay, paste those settings. That's taken the highlights down just exactly as I wanted them. And again, I just want to do a little bit of an adjustment on the crop on this one. I'm going to take a little bit of that right-hand side out. A bit more maybe. Yep, that's it. That's better. Right, I'm done with that one. And that's it. I've done my uh, adjustments on those 12 pictures. What I need to do now is, is share those. So I'm going to hit the share icon. Save to files. Highlight all of them. And then hit the tick button. Maximum available, of course. Now it's going to take a little while to render these files because they're pretty, pretty large JPEGs. Um, and just between you and me, this is only an iPad Mini, so um, it isn't as powerful as the iPad Pro or even any of the later iPads. But you know, this one fits in my pocket, which is why I take it with me. To be honest, the larger iPads, I might as well just take a laptop with me. Um, this one I use just for those few images on the fly, where you need to get them away quickly. Here we go, saving, last couple now. Okay, where do I wanna get? So I have a folder called delivery, where I deliver my files from. So I'm gonna to touch delivery, touch add, and it's gonna add those pictures to delivery. And that's it, we've done it. We've gone through the whole of the workflow apart from transmitting the pictures and we'll do that another day. Thanks very much, cheers, bye-bye.